Marvel has officially confirmed an insane Captain America theory that answers a lot of questions that we had after Avengers Endgame. How's it going everybody, it's Warren, and if you were wondering and a little bit confused about what Captain America did when he went back in time, and if you were wondering if there were two Captain Americas existing in the same timeline, well we finally have some answers for you. We are learning a lot more about Avengers Endgame since its digital release. For example, the reason that the door was open to the house that Peggy Carter and Steve Rogers were dancing in was because that was when Steve Rogers first arrived. That means the first thing that Peggy Carter and Steve Rogers did when he arrived and revealed himself to her was to have that dance. And now thanks to the writers of Avengers Endgame, we now have confirmation on a major Captain America theory. So let's break down everything the writers have said about Captain America going back in time. Also, quick reminder, if you'd like a chance to win an Xbox One or a PS4, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment below with your favorite superhero or villain. I'm picking a new winner at 500,000 subscribers. So one of the biggest questions about Captain America going back in time and staying back in time was, is there two Captain Americas in that timeline now? And if so, how did that work? Well, the writers have officially told us how exactly it worked out. Writer Stephen McFeely said, Here's how we reconcile it. We think that there have always been two caps from 1945 to say, now, and we just didn't know that. That's the loop, right? It's not back to the future rules, it's branch reality rules. This is not stepping on a butterfly that turns the world into Biff's casino. You can't alter your future by going back to the past. We sort of created our own time travel rules wherein, as the Ancient One says, if you remove an infinity stone from a timeline, that creates a branch reality. He jumped to 1948 and decided to stay. So, his younger self is on ice somewhere and it's only in 2011 that there are technically two Steves running around. To the point where if you were to look closely at Peggy's funeral, there'd be an old man in the back named Roger Stevens. Now this is the writers confirming a major Captain America theory. Obviously this old man named Roger Stevens is just Steve Rogers in disguise, taking on the name Roger Stevens so nobody knows that he is in fact Steve Rogers from the future. But the writers have officially confirmed that there have always been two Steve Rogers in the same timeline. And they have officially confirmed that the Captain America that went back in time was at Peggy Carter's funeral that took place in the present time in that moment, a time in which the present Captain America of that time was there as well. Now, if Captain America going back in time and staying there created a branch reality, this should not be possible. However, they do explain this a little bit. They claim that the Ancient One says that only removing an infinity stone creates a branched reality. Well, when Captain America went back in time, he returned all of the infinity stones, therefore a branch reality should not have been created. Which means that Captain America going back in time would mean that he stayed in the same MCU timeline, not a branched reality. Confirming the fact that Steve Rogers was was in fact Peggy Carter's husband that was mentioned in the Winter Soldier and he was in fact at her funeral in Captain America's Civil War. This is certainly a very different take on what we all expected, especially the branch reality explanation, but it does confirm this amazing, incredible theory. Captain America gets to go back in time, be with the love of his life, marry her, and have kids without affecting the future Captain America, because eventually the future Captain America will get to do the same thing. And this is a great way to end the story for Captain America, he gets everything that he finally deserves. So although the writer's explanation of this branched reality in Captain America going back in time may be a little bit spotty, it is nice to know that Captain America and Peggy Carter did get their happy ending. So let me know what you think about the writers confirming this crazy Captain America theory. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below and don't forget to comment with your favorite superhero or villain, like the video, and subscribe to my channel so you can enter the giveaway and stay up to date on everything relating to the MCU. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.